All right, for this next question, we're going to talk about the difference between, and this is for NEPSAC only right here, we're going to talk about the different classes. And once again, we're going to use our example of a clone, a player that's the same, but he's at a triple A school, a double A, a single A, a B, a C, an independent. Um, as a college coach, do you care what level that player's playing at? If you want him and like him and he's the same player at any level, does that matter to you? It, it only matters in the sense that what are we preparing ourselves for when he arrives on our campus? You know, and, and nothing against any lower levels is that, as you know, you've been in NEPSAC around here a long time. There are Division I basketball players at every level. The difference is as you go up, is there going to be more on every, on every team and the teams you play against. Um, but there's really good coaching at all the levels. Like I said, they're going to be Division I, Division II, Division Three players at every level. My question as a college coach would be, has he played against enough big-time competition? Has he been, A, did they win, first of all? You know, you can be a really good player and play somewhere and you lose every game. That player is probably not going to help us win right away in college. You know, one the two of the hardest things to teach players when they get to college is to play hard and how to win. Um, and as you know, you could be playing the worst college team in America. Winning a college basketball game is really, really hard no matter who you're playing against. Look at the box scores every night. There's always going to be somebody who gets beat by a team. Like, how did that happen? Um, so I want to know if they won, first of all. B, yes, who who they play with, who they play against. And as you go up levels, you don't really have to guess as much how many high-level players that player has played against for their career. And if they're ready to step in and not be a, afraid when they get on the court in practice and there's a senior All-American who's been in our program for four years, are you going to back down from him? Or are you going to take it to him because you don't care who he is? Those are the type of guys that college coaches want. They don't care, you know, what level it was, but are you going to compete against those guys on our team who've been here for a while because that makes us better? But answer this question for me, though. So same player, he can go to a Class A school and maybe get 25 minutes a game, goes to a AAA school and maybe gets seven minutes a game. How does that look to you then as a coach? Like what's a better trajectory, better players in practice and competition or better, like more reps? It depends on the individual. I say for bigs, bigs, in my opinion, are always two years behind guards in high school because they don't touch the ball. Mm -hmm. They don't have the ball. So if I'm a, a big who has potential to be really good, I might want to stay at a little lower level so I can get touches and, and develop my game more. You know, obviously if bigs who are really good already, the higher level is better for them. Um, but I would just say um, it just all depends on, on the individual player. Now, sometimes that seven minutes at the higher level is a great quality seven minutes. And you've already shown college coaches that you know how to sit there and do this. Right. Because when you get to college, it's a lot like the NBA. Most guys, when you first get to college, out of the, besides the unicorns, are going to spend a lot of time sitting and clapping their freshman year. And so coaches want – you know, do you have the ability as a really good player to be a really good teammate because you may not be impacting the game in terms of minutes the way you would have in a normal high school? So sometimes that seven-minute guy might be the better guy to take than the guy who played 25 minutes or 30 minutes who never came out and could turn the ball over six or seven times in a row, but you can't sit him because that team's not going to win if that guy's not on the court. 